can you take BPC-157 and Sermorellin together? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you absolutely can take these together. I'll show you how to cycle it and stack it because Sermorellin is not a peptide that you want to take every day. You want to give the growth hormone receptors time to breathe between dosing, uh, but I'll also tell you why it's advantageous to stack these. So first of all, BPC-157, there's a study done. I've been talking a lot about how this molecule is discovered in Croatia, University of Zagreb. And uh, one of the studies they did is it's called the pentadeca peptide, and this is BPC-157. That's just, it's a 15 amino acid structure. So it enhances the growth hormone receptor expression in tendon fibroblasts. The fibroblasts are really important because that's what allows your tendons to form new cells. And these fibroblasts actually create greater resiliency and tendons are what attaches the muscle to the bone. Ligaments are what attaches the bone to bone. So it's a, you know, ligaments are a little less pliable, but um, they also have fibroblasts in there. If the fibroblasts are activated, you're going to have this great cell turnover. You're gonna have new life there. You're gonna have more tensile strength so that you don't rupture tendons. You don't break things as easy. But what they did is the researchers treated tendon fibroblast cells with BPC-157 and they discovered that it upregulated the growth hormone receptor expression at both the genetic and protein levels, making cells more responsive when exposed to growth hormone afterward. So if you were wondering, like, can I use BPC-157 and Sermorellin together? Well, this is a pretty compelling argument as to why it could actually benefit both your utilization of BPC and utilization of Sermorellin. Sermorellin is a phenomenal growth hormone releasing peptide. It's been on and off the FDA approved list for a variety of, of issues, mostly for growth hormone deficiency in adolescence. But BPC, what their conclusion was is it enhanced the effect of growth hormone by increasing receptor density and sensitivity, suggesting that when you combine it with peptides like Sermorellin or CJC, Tessa Morellin, Ipamorellin, it can amplify tissue repair, recovery, and muscle regeneration. So I think this is pretty exciting because if you look at it, it's kind of like the ultimate growth hormone hack. And because, and I don't even like that word, so I'll just call it the ultimate growth hormone synergy because it brings these structures together so that not only are you increasing your pulsing growth hormone when you use Sermorellin, and especially if you stack it with Ipamorellin, I've got videos on that, but Ipamorellin is a somatostatin inhibitor, so you get a little stronger of a growth hormone pulse. Somatostatin is what turns off growth hormone in your body, and Ipamorellin is just working on the ghrelin pathways. Just, oh, just be quiet. We'll let the growth hormone do its thing for a little longer. But when you have the receptors that are also ready, now that concentration gradient, now you can saturate those receptors and then you get that genetic turn on that we're all looking for. If you think of BPC as like an engineer, it's a smart, intelligent engineer that your body's making on its own. But when you activate that engineer's capability by just adding a little more to your body, now that engineer can go in and it can repair all of the vascular networks in your body. So it turns off the inflammatory processes, it activates nitric oxide so you get better cell signaling. It also is a dopamine modulator so your brain feels more alert, you have a greater reward system, you wanna work out more, you want to do things that you know are good for you. It's like that hard easy principle. It's like, okay, I'm gonna go and do a hard workout today because it's gonna make my life easier in the future. You know, we're never working out for today, where it's always for our future benefits. Same with what we eat. If you went through a fast food restaurant and you instantly got you know 10 pounds overweight right after you ate that Big Mac, you're probably going to say, all right, no more of that. But unfortunately, it takes time. So BPC-157 and these growth hormone receptors, if you add Sermorellin, what you're going to see is your body will repair more deeply. Your sleep will improve. You'll also notice more mental clarity. And that mental clarity does come some from the dopamine modulation, but when you increase growth hormone, specifically IGF-1, what you're going to see is it unlocks BDNF. And BDNF is one of the major neurotransmitters that our brain uses to create neuroplasticity. So it helps repair your brain. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably have a lot of brain damage. And so I wanna help you. So take some BPC, take some Sermorellin. So how do you cycle these? And that's a question that came up because if you think of what BPC-157 is, 
is it's made by the gastric secretions. The half-life of BPC is very short. And so this is where dosing is really important. You can do up to a milligram every single day. I've been using BPC 157 almost every day for 10 years. I do have cycles where I go off of it. So my receptors don't get oversaturated, so they don't become desensitized. That's fine. Go off of it one day a week, two days a week. You'll be feel great. I've also talked to other people in this space and they don't notice that there's much receptor desensitization. And so they use it all the time. I do think that uh, in my case, I notice a little greater pulse if I can go off of it one or two days out of the week. That's it. What about sermorelin? Well, sermorelin, because it's working on the growth hormone pathways, you got to give it a break. Your body is a beautiful feedback system. Any system has a feedback loop. You put an input in and that input is going to change a certain output. And so when there's an input that there's growth hormone, well, your body's going to fight pretty hard to turn it down. It's always battling for homeostasis. And these receptors can get tired of being activated. And so then you don't get that same expression. So cycling off five days on, two days off on sermorelin seems to be just the sweet spot when it comes to not creating desensitization in the receptors, but also it gives your body a chance to go through and make its own growth hormone. So to gather these molecules, you know, we look at what's called the muscle brain heart axis. I think this is the most critical organ systems when it comes to your future health is how can you protect these three organs? And that's what I'm obsessed with. And we find that does sermorelin and BPC-157, does it help heal each of these organs? systems. Well, how does it work with muscle? Well, the fibroblast growth factors, you're going to have stronger tendons. You're going to have better muscle recovery, muscle repair. The angiogenic benefits of BPC, you're going to see greater nitric oxide, the endothelium, the cells inside of your blood vessels. Those will function better so you get more nutrient sensing. The other great thing is it's a dopamine modulator. So it hits the heart, you know, that whole cardiovascular network. It hits the muscles and then it hits the brain, not only the dopamine modulation, but also from that IGF-1 expression. Now, sermorelin, same thing. When you have greater levels of growth hormone, your body recovers faster. You can build muscle in greater ways. Growth hormone also activates the thymus glands. You're gonna have better immunity and that will protect your blood vessels from future threats. Sermorelin also is phenomenal when it comes to your body's overall muscle composition because when you're recovering, you hold on to muscle more. So in healing, it's all about making the raw materials, allowing your body to make and regrow, and then removal. So you're removing the interferences, rebuilding up the deficiencies, and this combination works perfectly. So use them together. You won't regret it. You'll probably feel like Superman or Superwoman, and I hope you do, and I hope you're having a phenomenal day. Really love and appreciate you for being on this channel because it shows me you're somebody who is really engaged in health, and you're somebody who believes, like I do, that health is more contagious than disease. And so I thank you for being here. If you love what we shared today, then go to my video on how long does it take to feel the effects of BPC-157. See you on the next show.